Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the Art Crafts channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little bag. Uh, it has its own crochet button. It's from Lion Brand. It's called the Perfect Purse. I made it a little bit smaller than they call for so I will post the pattern, um, the link for the written pattern in the description box area. And then I also made an optional lining. Um, you don't have to do this, but I did show you how to do this in case you want to learn how to line some of your other bags or purses. Um, sometimes it's a good idea so you don't lose anything, especially if you do like large stitches. Um, this way you have everything stay in there and it's nice and neat. What I like, kind of like about this is that it, you can crochet your own button so you don't have to uh, put off your finishing your, your project until you go buy a button. If you don't like doing that, then you can go ahead and uh, sew on a different button. So this is the little bag. It's really cute. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and let's get this party started. Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel. To begin our little purse, I'm going to be making it a little bit more narrow than what it calls for. Uh, to begin our, our bag, we're going to be using I'm going to be using a G hook, which is size 6, and it's a 5, excuse me, 4.25 millimeters. Um, I'm using the cotton ease yarn. Um, and the wood we're gonna do here uh, the pattern says it, this is uh, the it, this is called the perfect purse by uh, lion brand it is pattern number nine zero one three eight a D so I will put the link down there and it's a free pattern from lion brand yarn so I'm gonna be using the uh, cottonese brand yarn and this is just pretty much basic uh, stitches to begin the pattern calls for you to chain 38 but I wanted to make mine a little bit smaller because I just wanted like a clutch. If you want it wider, then go ahead and chain your 38. Um, this little piece, uh, it, let me see how, I don't know if it shows what, it's, the finish size is about 6 inches by 10 inches. So mine is going to be a little bit smaller. It's just a little clutch, like little, little, little clutch purse. I'm going to start by chaining 28. And um, if you want to do the 38, that is up to you. I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller and here to start the chain remember our chain we just yarn over meaning we wrap our yarn over our hook and we pull through the yarn through and that's our first chain so I'm going to do 28 so go ahead and do either your 28 or 38 if you wanted to make it a bigger purse okay I've done my 28 chains and now what I'm going to do here on the second chain from the hook, here's one, there's two. I'm going to do one single crochet in that chain. To do our single crochet, we just push in our hook without wrapping and then pull it out. So that's our first one. You're going to do that in every single chain. So my next chain here, I'm putting my hook in there once again. There'll be two loops of yarn on your hook. I'm going to pull through all, through both of those loops. And so I'm going to do one single crochet in each chain all the way across. When I get to the end, I'm going to finish my last single crochet and then I'm going to chain one, turn my work over and repeat the same work until my piece measures about 12 inches. So go ahead and do one single crochet in each chain. When I get to the end, I'll show you how we turn our work. Okay, here's my last chain. So I'm going to single crochet in there. I've come to the end of my row here. So now here, you're gonna chain one, you're gonna turn your work over, and now you're gonna repeat this same stitch doing one single crochet in each chain until this um, work measures about, um, uh, I guess it says, uh, let me see here, about 12 inches. And if you wanted to have more of a little ridge, what I'm gonna do that every Every two rows, I'm gonna do my work in the back loop only. But that's just like, I wanted to have a little ridge um, design. But the pattern just calls for doing one single crochet. If you wanted to have the ridge design, then you would go one single crochet. You would do the crochets in the back loop. And then you'll get that little ridge. But that's totally up to do. So up to you, either way you can do it. So go ahead and keep doing this until your work from here to the finish, from here to your finish side measures about 12 inches. Okay, I finished my rectangle. It's about 12 inches. <clears throat> this little bag does not call for uh, being lined, 
But if you want to do a lining, this is, would be the time. You would take a piece of fabric, whatever you're going to do in a complementary color or whatever you want, and then you would cut a square, uh, the same size rectangle as your um, as your work here. Then this we're going to we're going to sew it, fold it over this way. Sew the sides here with a one quarter inch seam. I'm going to sew the sides here with a one quarter inch seam, and then I'm going to just fold this back once I take it out and then just um, these will be sewn so then I'm just gonna zigzag the top then this will be, go inside my bag and then when I seam up the sides I can stick this in and um, that way it'll be nice and lined and then I don't have to um, worry about anything sticking out I wanted to do this line this one because I'm going to use this little bag um, inside of one of my big clutches so then in this little bag I could put in my lipstick maybe my powder whatever you want and um, if you make it the size the 38 chains across it will be um, about six inches by 10 I made 20 uh, I did instead of 38 I did 28 so it's about six and a half by six so it's a little bit more square so this is how you would okay do it. to begin working on our flap here then to go up to our next row you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now you're going to flip your work over. And it asks us here to, sorry, to skip the next stitch there. And then in the stitch after that, you want to do a double crochet there. Okay. So you have two. This, this first three chains counts as the first double crochet. After you do the second stitch, then we're going to skip six of these chains. This is uh, one, two, three, four, excuse me, four of the chains. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one, we're going to start doing our shells. So here you're going to do a double crochet. Remember, you wrap your yarn over your hook. You're going to go into that space, pull out your yarn. There'll be three loops of, uh, of yarn on your hook. You're going to pull through two and then through two. So that's your first double crochet. Now, I want you to do a chain one, and then you're gonna do another double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, you're gonna chain one, do another double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, and then your last double crochet. So you're going to have four double crochets into that same stitch. Okay? So this is going to be your little shell there. Now you're going to, um, it says here in the next stitch, shells may repeat from last, skips it. Okay, so now it's asking us here, we're going to repeat it from our space where we skipped four chains. So now we're just going to repeat this one, two, three, four, and then in the fifth chain, we're going to do our shells again, okay? So you're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You're going to do four double crochets in there. Chain one, and here's my last one. So we're going to, you're going to repeat this all the way across. Here is another, we're going to go one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, I'm going to do my next shell. So I'm going to get the little piece of paper off. And we're going to go all the way across, and in the last two stitches, we're going to do the same thing we did here which would be two double, uh, one double crochet in each of the last two stitches. There's four, one, two, three, four, one more time. Two. And yours will be longer if you did the 38 chains. So here are my last two stitches. I'm just going to do my double crochets.
Okay, here I've come to the end of my first row. So now here I'm going to chain three to go to row two. One, two, three. You're going to turn your work over. And then on the first double crochet post here, you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. Remember your double crochet, your yarn over. You go into that chain, pull out. You'll have three loops of yarn on your hook. You'll pull through one and then through the second one. So you're going to have two there, just like in the beginning. And now we're going to start building your shells in the middle portion of your previous shells. So here you're going to skip these stitches and you're going to work after the second post here, right there. See how there's one, two, three, four. In the middle post there is where you're going to begin doing your shells. So you'll be double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, there's another one, chain another one, and you're going to do four double crochets separated by the one double one chain in between there, okay? So here's my fourth one. So now that I've done four posts there, there's my, sh my shell on top of that other shell. Now I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to skip over these, go into the middle here, and do my shells here. Chain one, and then do this. You're going to repeat this until your work measures about 17 inches. When you get to the end here, you're going to do your sh last shell here. Then you're going to skip these work. You're going to do a double crochet in here. And then you're going to do a double crochet in the third chain. That'll be your two posts on the edge. And then you're going to repeat. Just chain up a three to go back up. You're going to continue repeating that into your work. Let me see if I could get out here. This work from the edge here to the end here should measure about 17 inches so I just need to about that much more to go so go ahead and repeat row 2 until that work measures about 17 inches okay this is how long I'm going to make my um, project I made it a little bit shorter than the 17 inches because excuse me once I folded it over um, I felt like this my my flap was long enough like that so now once you're gonna do remember I did the little ridges on every other uh, row just to give it a little bit of texture so then I want to make sure that this is going to be the inside of my bag here the flat side and then the side with the little ridges I want that to show on the outside so people could see that pattern there so I want to make sure that I have this on the inside now you're going to get your work you're going to fold it over here okay and now we're going to match these seams up here if you want you could put safety pins to hold it in place and then you match your other ones and now what you're going to do is that you're going to seam these shut okay i'm not going to do it uh and then turn it backwards because i don't want it to come out um ugly so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in through here okay and then when i go back i will tie um tie that up there so i'm going to make sure that i'm um i want to make sure since i do uh, sewing i want to make sure that i align my ridges here See? So they're going to be aligned. Just make sure that you make it all straight. And then I'm just going to go ahead and seam up with a whip stitch. This way here. But you can do it whichever way you like to seam up. So I'm just going to go across this way. Make sure I get every chain, every stitch there. Because I don't want there to be holes. If there is a hole, since I'm going to be putting in my um, liner, it should be okay. So just go ahead and stitch that up all the way across, all the way up, excuse me. And see, I'm matching my ridges to make sure all my ridges are matching. I don't want it to be out of, um, like, out of order, okay? So I'm just making sure that this is ridge, ridge, okay? So I'll go ahead and sew up both sides. I'm going to do this side, and then I'm going to come over here and do the bottom side. I'm going to sew in my tails here. And any tail that I have in here, I'm going to make sure that I uh, make a knot here and have everything um, fastened off. So go ahead and sew you up your two side seams, making sure that your right side, meaning the pretty side of your work, is on the outside. Then your flap is going to go over, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll come back and show you how I put in the... Uh, lining inside of my purse. This pattern doesn't call for a lining, but I know a lot of people like to do linings. If you do a lining also, instead of just doing it a single crochet, you could also do a double crochet because the lining will keep anything from falling out. I'm going to be putting, probably using it for like a little makeup bag with my lipstick, maybe my powder, blush, and so I want to make sure nothing's going to fall out. 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we'll come back and put in the lining. Okay, I've s finished seaming the sides here of my bag and then I went to do the lining, the rectangle that I had cut out. I folded it with the pretty sides together. I made a seam, quarter inch seam on each side and then I folded the top part and just zigzag stitched around the edge. Now the pretty side is in the inside. What I'm going to do now is because I want to line this bag. This is optional. You don't have to do it but some people have asked me how do I line my bags. So then I just put it in there. When we open it up we're going to see that our pretty side is going to be on the inside there. And then all I do is make sure that I have this lower than the top here and all you're going to do is match up your seams here. I get a thread, knot it off there so it doesn't get um, loose there and then I'm just going to sew my lining on there. I'm not going to go all the way to the back I'm just grabbing the top of the little thread here see you just get a little bit here so you don't want to go to the other side and you're just going to stitch your lining in place just like that. So you're going to do that all the way around then just you know cut off and put your knot there and then your bag will have a lining. You could do this with any size bag just make sure that you have um, the rectangle or whatever shape you're cutting out you measure it before you sew it together because in that way it'll be easier. I usually just use like a quarter inch seam allowance. You could use a half inch seam allowance. It's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing my lining in. See how it's getting in place there? It's looking nice. And then um, this pattern has a button that you can do so you don't have to buy a button. You can just do your button there. So I will come back once I have finished. See how that's already looking there? It's already in place. This part isn't sewn but this is already in place there. I'm going to finish sewing in my lining. I'm going to come back and do the button. Sew the button on and then we'll be done. Okay I finished sewing in the lining so now you can see that my bag is all lined in there and I made sure that I put the pretty side of the fabric, the right side on the um, showing so that when you open it up it looks nice and pretty. And now nothing's going to fall out like you could put in your, this is a pretty close stitch anyway, probably wouldn't fall in that. But you can put in your lipstick, whatever you want to put in there is not going to fall out. And if you do this with a double crochet because you like, you don't want to do it so tight, when you line it, it'll keep it safe. Nothing will come out if you have pencils, whatever you have. And so now this flap comes over this way. So see this is the front of your bag. And also the lining gives it a little bit more stiffness. So now we're going to work on the button. If you want to put the button in here or if you want to sew on a different button, you can. Um, I'm going to just show you how to make the button that is called for in the pattern. To begin the button, you're going to chain two. So let me do my slip loop here. I'm going to go one, two. Okay. And what's good about this is that you don't have to go out and buy a separate button. You could just get your button here. So then once we have it there on the second button from the chain here, you're going to do three single crochets and you're just going to be shaping your own button. So here's one, oops, one, two, and three. Okay, so you have your three single crochets there and now you're going to slip stitch in your first chain here to form a ring. There's your little ring there. And now you're going to chain one and you're going to do a, two single crochets in each chain. So you're doing an increase in every single chain. So here's one. That first one counted as one. The next one here I'm going to do two single crochets in every chain around. One, two, my next chain here is two. It's kind of hard to work because it's like so tiny to hold on to it. Next chain, two. One. Two. And 
and this is my last is that my last one two more left here one and two once you do that I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch to do my first row there if you want to put a stitch marker you can to help you keep your place now we're going to do the same thing for chain for round two so that's for round three excuse me you're gonna do one and you're gonna do uh, a single crochet in the first one and then in the second chain you do two single crochets you're gonna do that all the way around two so you only do a, an increase every other chain so here I'm doing one and in the next one I'm doing two one two my next stitch I'm doing one then the next one two Oops, one, two. Next stitch, I'm doing one. And then the next one, two. I'm sorry, guys, that the camera, I'm moving out of the space because I'm working by myself. <laughs> so sometimes it's hard for me to hold a camera and do the filming okay so that's my last one here and I'm gonna slip stitch into my first chain and this is my last um, oops, oops here I lost it there so that's my third one and this is my last um, my last um, row row four and here we're gonna do some decreases to shape the button now so here you're gonna chain one okay and then you're going to just single crochet into the next chain there. Okay. And now you're going to do a decrease over the next two stitches, meaning you're going to go in, grab your yarn, but don't pull it through yet. Go through the other next one, grab the yarn. You're going to be three loops of yarn on your hook. And now you pull all three two, through. The next stitch then is just going to be one single crochet. The next two, then you're going to do a decrease. You stick it in there, grab your yarn, don't pull it through yet. Go into the next one, pull it out, you'll be three, and pull it through. The next stitch, then is just one single crochet. Okay? And then we're going to decrease. So this is just a pattern one single crochet and followed by a decrease. Next one is single crochet and followed by our decrease. One single crochet followed by our decrease. This decrease is going to be our last stitch here. Okay? Pull it through. Oops. Uh oh let me try that again pull it through and now I'm gonna slip stitch here okay so here is going to be this way okay so what I, I like to do I'm gonna leave a long tail because I need to gather it and um, sew this it probably doesn't have to be that long but Better safe than sorry. So here, you're going to pull out your yarn. There. Now let me pan back so you can see what she looked like. Just kind of like a little cap. You're going to get your needle. Let me get a needle here. I always reuse my medicine bottles for that. I'm going to thread my needle. Wish me luck. Seems like it gets harder to thread them every day. Oh no! There! Thank God I got it. Now I'm gonna just gonna trim this tail there. Now you're just going to um, weave in your 
your yarn like this go in and out just through the top there and now once you get to the end you're going to pull it shut okay just pull it tight kind of flatten it up to shape it and now here I'm just going to kind of tie this off make a knot okay so that has shaped your button now once you have your button here see that what's good about it is that you don't have to go out and buy a button if you don't like the way this looks you don't have to make your own button you can just go buy your own and then here I'm probably gonna you're gonna be thread putting your button between these are gonna work as your buttonholes okay so now just fold over your um, get your flap fold it over decide where you're gonna put your button I'm gonna put my button right there let me shake my button once again I'm gonna put it here so I'm gonna just put my finger there I know that my buttons gonna go here so now I'm gonna sew on my button just like you do a regular button there it is and just go through the top part of the button here there you go I might sew it in again on this side to make it a little flatter okay once it's on there I'm just going to go ahead and make a little knot here and make another knot and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get my needle don't put it through to the fabric pull the fabric out so you don't get it there I'm going to stick in my needle here and just kind of weave it in and out over here I'm going to pull out my yarn then you can cut this here and any tail pull it out it'll be lost inside stick your lining back in there's your button you're going to put your buttonhole through there and your bag is complete this um calls if you want to do an optional strap you can then you would just attach it here in the corners i would attach it before i sew in the the lining I'm not gonna do the strap because I'm gonna be using this like I said like a little makeup bag in my big tote bag in my travel tote bag and so if you want to do the strap you're just gonna chain about 55 to 57 inches attach it on one side here and then your other chain on the other side and then you could use it like a little um, uh, strap bag so this is your little bag I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please share my, um, my channel with your friends. And help me spread the word about my channel. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, this is the same method you could use to line any of your other bags you do. Like your grocery bags or whatever you want to do. I like lining them sometimes because if your stitches are, you could do like your double, double crochet, your triple crochet. Then you can make sure nothing's going to fall out. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch my videos. And I really appreciate all your kind comments. Have a great day and be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.